Figure skating is one of the most popular winter sports around the world and one of the most memorable Olympic figure skaters. Now listen to this actually lives right here in the metro. Surya Bonali is a three time Olympian who grew up in France, but now Skay is living here in the Twin Cities. I decided to meet up with her and and when I say get a lesson, I put that in air quotes. She put up with me, I should say. Look at this. It's not a good sign when you don't even know how to put on the skates in front of an Olympian. I'm sure it's going to be perfect. <laughs> you know. Okay. How should I do it? Okay, so. It's a little bit loose here. Now okay. hold on. I'm going to make two bunny ears. Not my shiniest hour here. Oh. This is already embarrassing. I had to be taught how to lace up my skates. Well, lucky you, today's not slippery. <laughs> so it's gonna be fine. We made it special for you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go out. Okay. Just walk easy, like you know. Walk easy, okay. Like you would walk in the streets. Okay. Okay. And like just, that. Uh, and just be careful. That's exactly how I walk in the streets. <laughs> No one's there, so enjoy it. You can close your eyes whenever you want. This is about what I'll do. <laughs> That's good. Come here. Hey, Just I'm run. actually, I'm oh, actually okay. upright. I, I mean, you know what I mean? Good. You know, I haven't yeah. fallen yet, so that's, no. I mean, that's a win. Because I'm sure sometimes you get people on here that fall right away. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> but you can put your arms here so you really look like a real figure skater. You know, you put your arms on the side and just like, yeah. Like that? Or like a hockey player is just, you know, more like... I'm probably more a figure skater, just FYI. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you try to go down and just do that? Yes, very good. So do you like when people call you a rebel? No. I didn't think so. Our staff who loves you kept saying, she's a rebel, she's, and I go, I wonder if she likes that. No, actually, no. I never felt that uh, anger and feel like tough. Think that's the biggest misconception about you? For sure. Yeah. For sure. That must be hard. I would, it's that, hard because, yeah. you know, for dating, I used to have some guy who say, hey, I, didn't even I think saw you on television. I know you're really tough. The first date is like, okay, I want to see you and test you, how you are. And I was like, yeah, you're actually super fun and super cool. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, thank you. And I'm like, yeah. So it's why I can't. I didn't even think it would affect you dating. Yeah, yeah. We do sport because it's, you know, peace of mind. We do this for the fun. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Very good. I don't I know what that spin. was, but I did something there. I don't know what that was. What would be the first thing that you would teach someone? Usually we teach you how to fall and how to get up. Usually it's like the thing. So usually, Seriously? Yeah. If you want to try. I, I do, I know. Like, so bend so, your knee first. Okay. Oh. Okay, bend your knee, it's okay. Oh. I'm, why am I afraid to fall? I'm afraid to learn how to fall. That's pathetic. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, okay. okay. I'm very afraid. Come on, you can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, is that like a walker? Yeah. Shut up. That's like a walker for skating. Yeah, this is what we usually use for beginners. <laughs> so, so, just push it. Push it? You know, since you're healthy, you're not, you know. So, that's good. Okay, put one knee down. Why am I afraid? Oh my God, I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. Getting close. Okay, Getting come close. in. Get your knees down. Come, can I come back to this? Okay, Thank do you want you. to try to spin? Nope, I'll try to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your arms open. Okay. And you walk, 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 walk. And walk. Oh, I'm spinning. Like, yeah, walk, 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 walk. walk, walk, walk. Yeah. I can hold you. Okay, hold me, ready? And you say, one, two. Very good, it's called bunny hop. I did it. That's a Blades of Glory move. Okay. Why don't you try to go backwards? You go, yes, backwards. Yeah, okay. okay. So this is our grand finale. Grand finale. And, and try to go down. Oh, and, okay, that's about as far <laughs> And it's a seven. <laughs> wow. Well, that proves I have no vanity. Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot more I want to chat about with, I, I got to tell you, I fell in love with her, uh, meeting her. She is fantastic. We're going to chat some more. She's here, everybody, including what she thought about being the subject of an entire Will and Grace episode back in the day. She's in our studio. 
We'll be right back, everybody. Oh, Many yeah. people uh, dream of competing in the Olympics, but only a very, very small percentage ever make it. My next guest competed in not one, not two, but three Olympics, becoming one of the most talked about figure skaters in the world during the 90s. As you just saw, she now lives and coaches here in the Twin Cities. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, please, for Surya Bonali, everybody. Hi. Okay. We didn't get into it in that in that piece, but how in the world did you 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 ended up here in the Twin Cities for love, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Big thing. Big change cuz you yeah. came from Vegas, you came from Vegas to here, yes. right? Yeah. Obviously you're from France, but you came you came from Vegas. Mm -hmm. How did you adjust to that? Uh, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it looks like I have a short memory. Every winter, I'm like surprised, like, no, it's not possible. It's not that, that is cold. that cold. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, it's it's going to be that cold. Yeah. You know, for, for those who, you know, I, I got to tell you, I became, you, when I knew I was going to do the interview, I, I was working in TV during the 98 Olympics, and I remember you, and I remember the coverage, but I went back and just looked. When you look back at that time, I mentioned three, three Olympics, what stands, what do you think of first when you think of your Olympic career? Well, you know, Olympics, it's dream for an athlete, whatever, what kind of sport, whatever you do, it's like the big things because, you know, it's only four people can do this in a national team and become an Olymp Olympian is like so amazing. But, you know, there's a lot of work to do. Yeah. Sometimes four years or 10 or 20 years of work prior to that event. So it's really stressful, actually. And anyway, you feel so overwhelmed and excited to be there and it's like this big reunion where you can meet so many athletes all over the world you know there's like 42 countries coming together and 200 over 200 athletes you know for the winter olympic games and you're just like wow yeah. it's like amazing and your your road your road to the olympics was you were telling me when we were skating that it wasn't like you dreamed about this Tell everyone your skating career started because of your, your mother, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my mom was a, you know, a teacher and she was teaching figure skating. And because of her, I didn't have to pay figure skating. So it was kind of my, my kindergarten, you know, I just here yeah, come and hang around and just practice. And, and then, I become good. But yeah. I was good in different sports too, you know, gymnastic and tumbling. I was in a national team as well. So I was kind of like, you know, already you know, pre-made pre to be a good athlete anyway. What age were you when someone noticed you that said, you know what, this is more than, this should be more than a hobby for you? Uh, I think around 12 years old, I met, just bump into the national coach from Paris and uh, come to my rink in Nice, out of France. And he said, told my parents, I say, you should go to Paris. And we were like, you know, when you live in a French Mediterranean by the ocean, he never think to, moved ever to Paris. It's yeah. like, hello. It's like almost coming to Minnesota. Why you would come to Minnesota? You could come to <laughs> Cali no, California no, or Hawaii. I know what you mean. I know what you, you know, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weather, you know, weather, weather wise, everybody. You know, weather wise. Weather wise. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, well, you can go Hawaii or Minnesota or Nice yeah. and Paris. I'm like, really? Yeah. And after, you know, you know, it's for your job. And you know, there's so much opportunity. Paris is like so big. If you want to do something good, because National Training Center are over there, so you know that you have to make, to do the you know, big move. So and it was supposed to be only for one year, try, and I ended up ten years there. So, ten years. Yeah, yeah. And then, so then you get going. Then you get to the Olympics, and anybody that. You know, you hear, and we're going to talk about Will and Grace in a minute. Anyone that Googles you, you know, the first thing that comes up is the backflip. Yeah. And does that drive you nuts that that's, that that's like no. when, you, when you Google you, that that's the first thing that pops up? Or Well, you know, I'm excited because I know I'm the one who creates this move, this jump. But in a way, I'm like, here it know. is. Here it is, everybody. If you I haven't seen it, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm excited about it because I know I did it, so I'm very proud of that. But in a way, I'm like, I've been 
you know, in a world scene and I went to the Olympics, not just because of my backflip, you know, I was able to do some spin. I was one of the best spinners on the world, jumpers. I did some triples combination. It was my, my, you know, my special skill of doing those triples as a girl. And, uh, and I did very young, so it was a big surprise and I was able to do some quadruple. I was the first woman to actually try quadruple in competition. And I was actually super young, 17, my first time when I ever tried. So I was You like, are more than a backflip. Yes, yes. 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 So, gonna... yeah, so, and I, I can say that I was very complete because I couldn't say I was just a jumper or a spinner. I was very, I was able to You were to the do whole everything. package. Pretty much. Yes, yeah. you were. <laughs> yes, you were.